Okay, so since I got my Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig model, I've been trying out a few different operating systems and just trying various things to see how they work. Uh, and I stumbled across my Lineage OS, uh, so Android SD card, and I thought I'd give it a try, uh, and I thought I'd have a look and see what it reports. So you can see that uh, I've got various apps on here. Uh, I don't know how to switch between the apps. So I've got, oh, I've got Ada 64. I think that's probably all the apps that are on there. Uh, and this is the same build as I would have used in my last video. I've done three videos on this. But you can see that it does pick up uh, the amount of RAM. So 8 gig, and it says that there's 6.8 available. So that's pretty good. Uh, and you can flick through and you can see all the CPU and everything comes up. It, go, it will go up to 2 uh, gigahertz. And uh, you can see that it's flicking between them because I've got a few apps open at the moment. So if I click on that and I drag this across, so this is the Xbox game streaming app, uh, which I thought was gonna work um, because video at low res works all right on this build. There's no hardware support. Um, and I got excited and I, so I signed in and it did let me sign in. And I am registered for this service. I've tried it on my Pixel 3a. Uh, so you can see here, if you click on it every now and then, it will give you uh, a screen. So we go next does things a bit weird. Oh, there you go, next, next, and next, sign in. And I'll try it one more time to show you that it does let me get to a particular point where it will let me sign in. And it does sign me in, and if I think this is the screen. Yeah, so I'm in, I'm ready to play, but if I click on Let's Play, it just toggles back to that. So that's a disappointment, but I might get trying that. I've, I've uploaded, uh, I've updated all the apps that are on there um, and and it's actually, it feels all right. It feels quite snappy. It, it feels better than it did before, but I but I think the, the eight gigs not gonna make any difference because as you can see, it's not coming anywhere near um, testing it. But I signed into my Netflix account. Uh, it told me that uh, the app wasn't suitable. It took me to the Play Store and said, oh, there's an update for the app and it says it's not suitable. But uh, I, what did I try on here? I did a search. So you can see this is all in real time. I'm trying not to, to um, cut things out. What did I try? Property I did. Uh, and something like this, because this looks like it will be probably quite nice quality footage. And I've got my speaker turned on. Battery 100%. USB audio. Box audio. So I pause that. You can see that plays, and if I press escape, you can see I can go back. I can scroll through the different episodes, uh, and that's working fine. Uh, I'm not getting any audio, but I haven't really got this set up properly today because I'm using a monitor without audio. But I guess that will come through in the stream if there was any sound. So let's go back. Uh, I don't need to really worry about closing down apps with 8 gig uh, because obviously it's going to cope pretty well with that. Uh, I'm now using a wired connection. I wasn't before. Uh, so if I go, let's try something like that. You can see it, it plays fine. Uh, if I oh, click on that and pause it, click on that and pause it. Uh, let's go. Well, let's go for something something like this, which would be a bit better quality. And skip survey. It, since it's done the updates, uh, so it's on 720 anyway. Uh, I think it actually performs really well. Uh, and the video 720 is the highest you can go. But you can see from that the quality is looking pretty decent. Uh, and again, let's not bother to close down any apps. In fact, let's go for. Uh, so I can drag between them. Obviously, this is meant for a touchscreen uh, device, and I can go to things like thermal to see how. Uh, and I'm called with my uh, cheap case I had in uh, cheap Amazon case that I had in my previous video. So 50 degrees. Oh, I'm back to system to show that RAM. So we're all we're still looking at the same amount, even though there's various apps are open. So let's just get opening loads of apps. And see what happens. So YouTube's already open. I won't do Sentia because that will get a bit confusing. Uh, App Tide, I think that is. 
uh, files app and let's drag up from the bottom to show if there's anything else on here uh, yeah there's all sorts of things on here so something like tune in radio I've covered this on some other um, builds let's drag up from the bottom again so I got excited with Stadia because I thought, oh, Stadia could work. And then when it got to this, uh, it, I was thinking, oh, yeah, this is good. Um, but it's doing what it would do on a mobile phone, which is basically uh, it's it's launching Stadia on a Chromecast. So it's not actually playing it on the Pi. But, uh, but also it's just something that could be supported. Uh, so even though this is running at 720, uh, because it's not using any hardware acceleration, these game streaming services don't use that. So let's go back in, go back home, and then call up the apps and just see how uh, how quickly it switches between them. So Stadia, oh no, I'm doing that wrong. So let's click on that and drag it across. Oh, you can see that it flies through them all. So I guess the way that uh, Android works, so if I show all the apps, uh, is that a bit like iOS in that it, it doesn't really run everything in the in RAM, it kind of pauses these things. So when we go back here, the RAM isn't really impacted very much by me opening up loads of apps. I haven't tried the web browser with loads of tabs, so I could see what happens with that. So click and drag it. Oh, click and drag up. Uh, and then I think I've got Firefox on here somewhere. There it is. So let's see what happens if I start opening a load of tabs and see if that affects the memory. Oh, this is from this is from ages ago when I was I was searching for XP uh, wallpapers and and about the history of it and stuff like that. Right, so let's open a load of tabs and let's go back into them and we'll say YouTube on one. We'll say Hot UK deals on another and whatever get back is twitter and bbc and bbc is it doing anything so that's that one that's the youtube page hot uk deals is still loading up you can see the little progress bar here still going so now if i go uh, into app tide into Ada 64 and have a look. Yeah, so it's using up some more memory, but you can see that it's not really the eight gig that's gonna make a difference on this. Although obviously you have Android phones with, what is it, 12 gig now? Um, some ridiculously high figure. So let's go back to uh, those pages. Was it there? Yeah. Uh, so hot UK deals. So this was happening in the background. Uh, it still hasn't cached all the pages. Well, let's see what happens if I if I go into something else and then go back to it in a minute. So let's let it load all the way up. It's not letting me select that one. Oh, bit of a slowdown there. So BBC, and let's click on something on there as well. Wait for that. I'm not getting the um, the weight symbol up much. I'm sure that used to happen a lot more in my previous videos. Right, let's let this load this page. No, it seems to be going a bit slow now, doesn't it? But we're, I'm confident it's going to be nowhere near the RAM issue. So if we click on here. Yeah, so loads and loads of RAM. Anyway, uh, I'll be trying out other operating systems and various different things to see uh, if the eight gig can affect that. But I just thought it'd be interesting to try uh, Lineage uh, once again. So Android on Raspberry Pi. Um, but uh, I really need to look at, because uh, Marsan left me a tip of how to put it onto a USB. So I'd, I really like to put this on an SSD drive and see how, how that goes. Let's go back to that Firefox. So let's flick through these pages and you can see that it's letting me do it pretty well. Uh, well, that didn't respond. You still get this weight bit. Okay, so it's definitely slowing down now, um, but that's uh, certainly not lack of RAM. Uh, but uh, I hope this helps and thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.